Creating Quantity Adjustments. In this video tutorial, we will go over how to create a quantity adjustments to add for opening quantities and to adjust current quantities. You can get started by going to the Adjustments icon on the desktop, or you can go to the Warehouse menu, Warehouse, Create a New Quantity Adjustment. The shortcut is Control A. In the Adjustment Inventory window, the first thing we will do is select a location for the adjustment. You can use a drop-down or you can type into the field to select the location. The next field is to select an account, and this is very important. What account should I use? If we are adding opening quantities to our items, we do not want to use an inventory asset account. We will be using an opening balance equity account. If desired, you can also choose a QuickBooks class, but it is not a requirement. Our next step in the adjustment will be to add the items in. You can use the barcode field, or you can start using the drop-down here to add the items from the item list. You can also type in the item number. For items that have lot and serial numbers, you will get the enter lot serial numbers window. Here, you can use the barcode field to enter in the lot or serial number, or you can just simply click in the section, select the bin, and enter in the lot and serial number. Also put in your quantity, and make sure to put in the expiration date. For the items that do not have a lot and serial number tracking, you can simply click on the quantity field and put in the quantities needed. Once you have added all of the items to the adjustment, you can select to only adjust in number cruncher only if needed. Make sure that you check the box. Notice that the send to QuickBooks button is now grayed out and this adjustment will not show up in QuickBooks. You can then just save and close. So we just created an adjustment to add the opening quantities. This is typically done when starting a new all orders company. Remember we used an opening balance equity account. In our next example, we will create a quantity adjustment to adjust current quantities. Again, you can go to the adjustment icon on your desktop, or you can go to the warehouse menu and select new quantity adjustment. In the quantity adjustment window, select a location for the adjustment. Next, we need to select an account. In this example, we will be using a COGS account. Please keep in mind the account that you should use should not be an inventory asset account. In the drop down you will see that I have created specific COGS accounts that I can use for my adjustments. For example, recalls, scrap, or shrink. I will then go ahead and use the barcode field or I can use the drop down to add the items that I need to adjust for. In the quantity column I will go ahead and put in the adjustment that I need to make. Remember that you can only adjust in number cruncher if needed. Make sure you check the box and then you will see that the send to QuickBooks button will then be grayed out. If you would like this adjustment to post over to QuickBooks, then there is no need to check this box. Simply save and close your adjustment. So that was creating a quantity adjustment to adjust current quantities. Remember, I used a COGS account. You can create specific COGS accounts to easily select from and track adjustments in the QuickBooks PNL reports. Once the quantity adjustments have been completed, you can find them on the list. Go to List, Quantity Adjustments. 